Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1166. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, 66, we're going to go back to 63. Hey, we were trying to get from a column with date and time a count over here of just the dates. The first method we used was the helper column. We said int, which extracts just the date. And then we went ahead and just did straight count if of that. Then I did an array formula. We took the int on the whole range and used some product. But no way. We have an awesome online Excel team. And Bill Sizzes, as always, came up with a great formula. And let's go ahead and look at this formula, and then we'll, we'll kind of compare. Now, it's count ifs that we're going to use. And we actually are going to have two conditions based on this single column. Count ifs is a new function in Excel 2007. So the first condition is going to be based on the date column. Control Shift down now F4 to lock it comma. And now criteria one. Well, check this out. This is a serial number, just a whole number. And whatever date we find in this column that has 1-1-2014, the time part will be some decimal. So all we have to do for the first condition is say, greater than or equal to, notice we put our comparative operators in double quotes, and then we have to join it using Shift-7, the ampersand, to our date, relative cell reference. All right, well, that will get it. Anytime it's looking through here, it's going to say greater than or equal to the whole number, comma. The second condition, we simply highlight the whole column, Control-Shift-Down, or F4. And now we say less than or equal to, in double quotes, and join it. No way to the same date plus 1. Now, the key here is this 1 because time is a number between 0 and 1. Except for when it's exactly 1, that means the next day. So we actually want to remove the equal sign. It has to be less than the next day. Because if we did that, if there's any date times in here that are 1, 2, 2014 with no time, meaning exactly midnight, it would actually capture that. And we don't want that. So no equal sign on this. And that's it. Now, for this formula, you know, you have to know all of the syntax for the comparative operators and join. But our array formula, you had to know about the double negative to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros. So each one is similar in that you have to know a little bit to create this formula. But the count ifs will calculate faster than the sum product. Now, on this small data set, it's going to be imperceptible. But the idea of trying to always build the most efficient formula is important. So count ifs here will calculate faster than that sum product and int. I'm going to double click and send it down, and we get exactly the same numbers. Now, I've got to show you yet another way. And actually, this is the easiest way of all. It's not a formula. We're going to build, based on this data set, a pivot table. Now, the advantage to formulas are if the data ever changes, formulas instantly update, and you don't have to refresh. So sometimes you want formulas. But if you're just doing this as a one-time thing, oh, this pivot table is going to be awesome. Now, click in a single cell up to Insert, Pivot Table, or you can use the keyboard Alt-N-V. Now, I'm going to put it right on this sheet just so we can compare and contrast. So I'm going to say Existing Location and click in G6. Click OK. And watch this. I'm going to take the date time for calls field, drag it down to rows. That gives me a unique list of date and times. Right click Group. And we are going to group by days. Days, I just want one day at a time. Click OK. There's a unique list of our days. Now I simply drag the field down to values. And boom, check that out. We get our count. Now I don't like that row labels. Design, report layout in either tabular or outline. I'm going to select outline. Maybe click right here and type count and Enter. That is fast. Now, I went ahead and paused and then did a little time test here. Here's control down arrow, like 100,000 rows. And here is the count ifs. And here is the sum product int. And I went ahead and timed them. There's some VBA code from Charles Williams, awesome 
Excel MVP. Actually, you want to have this fast Excel add-in that uh, Mr. Excel has shown, and I actually have, but I haven't gotten approval from the administrators at my college to ins install it. So I still have the old code, but I went ahead and counted or in timed each one of the whole columns uh, one, two, three times. So uh, you know, for a small data set, even this big data set, the difference between you know, a half and 0.6 of a second is not going to matter much. But when you get big data sets and lots of formulas, then it really starts to matter. All right, so count if wins on the speed. All right, uh, count ifs, pivot tables. We'll see you next trick.